I've loved all the stuff I've done in the media recently, but I am so thrilled to be involved with Channel 7 and ongoing just in general talking about the game because I'm a fan. Like I, I am a player, but I do love you know, just sitting and watching and, and talking about the game and analysing it as well. So what we do have this year is some fantastic cricket brains. I think Ricky Ponting, Simon Kadic, two guys, fantastic way of explaining how things work on a cricket field. Uh, and the public are just going to get some new innovations. They're going to get some new angles that maybe past uh, broadcasters haven't thought about. Uh, and it's really exciting to see where it's going to go. I guess I've got to a point in my life where I'm comfortable with my own opinions and the fact that not everyone's going to like that. Um, but too often, I saw an interview with Andrew Bogut recently who talked about why he tweets the way he does, why he gives what he gives and in interviews. And I think the reason I love that attitude is because we see far too many cliches. It is about who you are as a person and backing that in. And I think I'm, I'm pretty comfortable within my own skin these days. Not everyone's going to like the way I think about the game, but I think I've got a reasonable eye for you know, what happens on a cricket field and, and I'm going to try and bring that to the best of my ability, that's for sure. There's a new sort of video analysis type role within the coverage. It's going to be throughout test cricket, the nuances of the game, how the game's unfolding and then a bit of ball by ball stuff here and there, but it's you know involved with the commentary team and, and some great uh, minds and great voices that are, it's going to all package together really well so I'm stoked I can't wait.